Hey guys, Squid Game Gink here, and today I'm once again in my map, which is by the way called Fred's Castle Kingdom. Forgot to mention it in the last video, but yeah, there you go. And today I'm gonna talk to you a bit about the game mechanics. And I'm not gonna discuss to you about how they work. That's the next video or few videos, cause there's a lot to discuss about this. But yeah, so basically, as I said in my last video, each team has to destroy the enemy's castle to win. That's the basic game mechanic, and I have a I have an egg. Each team destroys the castle using a pickaxe. Each class gets its own pickaxe, as I mentioned in the last video briefly. But you might be wondering, what are these kind of beamy stuff that I really, really like, by the way? Carpet design is incredible. I like these kind of, you know, stacked carpets. They make a really cool beam. So if you guys want this one, there you go. There's a bit of a design choice for you with a slab. These are slabs. And when the carpets are on top, it looks like they're floating. So you can do that. And I find it to be awesome. <laughs> and incredible, and that's why we used it in this map. But let's. But moving on, these little beamy stuff, the red and the blue ones, are turrets. And these were kind of a last-minute addition, and we've actually got an open one to show you what's going on in here. So that's the redstone in them. We've got some redstone. I'm gonna be going on, on, in a future video this week and the middle blue one and the blue the middle green one man what's up with me in colors really not color blind guys I swear has this little pressure blade that gives you the saturation effect for a minute so let me show you saturation you saw that for almost zero seconds there or less than a second pretty much and basically what it enables you to do is to, you know, get back your hunger and it's pretty much there as a, strategic, as a strategic point. So basically if you buy the turrets next to it and your opponent doesn't have a high, a high health. Wow, what's going on? What's going on? Why can't I talk? Let's try and continue, shall we? And your opponent doesn't have a high health health well he can't really heal unless he's dead and kills are important and let me tell you why kills are what pretty much gives you the turrets so there is a kill system you can see each player's kills above their head obviously you can't see mine now because we can't see my name but everyone else can see my kills and you can see everybody else's kills Obviously, every time you kill a player, you get another kill. Now, every chosen amount of time, which is every few seconds, you're gonna get an XP level. Now, a few seconds, I'm saying it like this, it's more, but every little chosen amount of time, you're gonna get an XP level. And using these XP levels, you're gonna buy your turrets. Now, the more kills you have, the more XP you're gonna get every given time. And let me explain what I mean. Basically, if you are, well, say you killed four people and you now killed another one, the next time you're gonna get XP, you're gonna get two levels instead of one. So it goes up in five kills. So if I didn't kill anyone, I'm gonna get one level of XP. If I killed five people, I'm gonna get two levels, ten people three levels etc etc until 25 kills which if you get there man you're crazy and that's that means you're gonna get six levels and that's fairly important if you're a builder or a mage but we'll get to that later once again we will so basically each one of these is gonna cost you 25 levels and let's get to how the command blocks actually work. So there's this command block over here that activates when you turn on the button, when you press it. And well, it gives you 
a minus 25 XP level. Well, it gives you. It tries to take 25 levels off of you, and it tries to take 25 levels only with who didn't purchase the turret, and who is red, because obviously it's the red turret. And yeah, and his minimum level is 25. Then, if it works, it activates A, this that activates the turret, so everything works on a timer remotely, so no, the, the redstone circuits are not in here. And it does another thing that I'm not gonna talk about, because that's kind of a secret, a secret for another video, and that's something I, I, I really like. I really do. And why am I not a knob? Am I not a knob here? I have to change that later. But anyway, we close this up. Because we're going to discuss this further in a future video, as I said. Anyway, well, you probably didn't see it, and I'm probably not going to show you until later on when you're going to check the circuits out. But when you buy the turret, you're not gonna be able to buy it again, obviously. It's gonna take the levels off you, so be careful with that. But you're not gonna buy it again, and it's gonna summon a skeleton over here. And the skeleton is not gonna be able to do anything, it's just a design choice. And it looks really awesome, has been done by MC Undercraft TV, and it's a lot of work to create this. Trust me, man, the man is a genius. But what it did basically is created skeletons wearing different colored armor when they wear green armor th uh, that means there are friendly players around when there are enemy players around they're gonna wear red armor and he did that in a really cool way that we're gonna discuss hopefully with him online with me in a further video moving on Let's see, anything else to talk about, really? Um, yep, the shop system. That's something I actually never mentioned here. Which is, that's a very interesting system, actually. Sorry about that, it's a bit loud. And, uh, there's our villager dude. He's our, uh, shopkeeper. Right over here. You can kill him. It will be terrible if you will. Here's the command that created him. It's really long. Let me type it in the chat for you guys. And can I do it? Why can't I? Oh yeah, that that was actually only the part I can write at, write down in the chat. But man, this command is long. Look at this. Look at this beast. It's an incredibly long command. I'm pretty sure it has been done by MC Undercraft TV, but I'm not sure. Might have been done by Play Gamer. Uh, I'll let you know in the next video when I'll actually know it. And I'll find out. Oh, here we've got a little shop system. Also, only in vanilla Minecraft. No filters will need it. Nothing, really. And this enables you to buy potions. Now, the emeralds and diamonds are things you're going to be getting randomly every few seconds. So, say every 10 seconds, I guess. Something like that. You're gonna get an emerald or a diamond randomly, and you're gonna use these to buy yourself some potions and stuff. But the really good stuff costs a lot, and they cost a lot of diamonds, and obviously you're gonna get way more emer emeralds than diamonds. They're the way more common item. So, yeah, you got this. <laughs> anyway, let's move on, shall we? We've got the shop system, so yeah, you can buy regen, and then regeneration tool will cost you a diamond instead of emeralds, so stuff like this we've got here, an auto cooling system, oh, blocks, let me actually try and expose this, ah, there we go, that's the actual system, and it's fairly interesting, it goes on a bit here in the back, was done by me, the entire villager thing, and a lot of stuff here were done by Mr. MC Undercraft, and yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna give him a lot of credit on this map because he done a lot of it. And yeah, you basically have your a command block that summons a block of coal on top of this here when it empties out. So 
when there are no cold blocks in here, it's gonna summon a cold block in. These are gonna be enough for a lot of stuff. But if you still need it, and you probably aren't gonna smelt anything, but if you do, we've got you an infinite coal system. That I really like, so... Yeah, a bit of a bonus there for map gamers. Got a crafting table for no apparent reason. And we've got these two really important stuff. So we've got potions for the mage, and we've got building blocks for the builders. So we've got builders and mages in this version of the map here. Basically, the builder can repair the castle and build blocks. And the mage can throw free potions on people. And that's where the mage gets free potions. So, yeah. Now, let's. Do I have actually where to move on to? Well, the blue cat, the blue shop is basically the same thing. Well, no. Basically, right now, all that's left is to talk to you guys about the redstone, and that I'm gonna save for the next video too. So, if you like this video. Please hit the like button. If you loved it and you haven't already, please subscribe. Once again, I want to thank you guys for amazing 10 subscribers. Actually, 11 right now, which is awesome. And I really enjoy this. Uh, I find it really satisfying, you know, to log in another day and find out I've gained another few subscribers. I really like this feeling. And I'm gonna keep it going because I'm gonna keep making videos for you guys. And I really like you. So yeah, please support my channel. <laughs> By the way, if you want to participate in a beta test of this map, send me a personal message telling me you want to participate in this map. If you want to bring a friend, that's cool. And tell me your Skype name so I can contact you further along. And yeah, I actually check my mailbox in YouTube, my inbox. but. I don't like a lot of people, but yeah. Actually, one more thing to talk about. Here in the middle, well, I'm in creative, but there's a really interesting combination of, well, spells, kind of, potion effects that's going on. It has been suggested by MC Undercraft TV, and he taught me how to do it, and I did it, and it's awesome. And basically, the idea is to disable players from mining anything. But doesn't it, do, it doesn't disable their attack ability. So their hand speed is exactly the same as it was before, but they can't mine anything. So as you guys know, mining fatigue slows down your hands by a lot, and I mean a lot. So if I actually give myself mining fatigue here, and I'm pretty sure it's four, so let me affect uh, me. For I guess uh, I guess 500. Let's do 100. And I have no permission to use this command, so let me open the LAN. Man, I can't believe I didn't enable cheats here. But anyway, there we go. Now it's I got mining fatigue, and look at my hand. Look at my hand. It didn't even fi finish the motion yet. Look at it. Now, only now it finished punching. Look at that. Look at that. Do you know how slow it takes to mine stuff with that? Literally impossible. Literally. You can't even mine the carpet like that. You can't. You just you just can't. So that's why we're using that. Now apparently in combination with haste, it's pretty good, cause haste makes your hand faster so if I'm gonna give myself a haste which is three of basically zero you know of level one look at my hand it's normal again it's normal again and this is terrific now if I go to game mode survival you can see I can 
basically not mine, even not even not the grass. Look at that. I can't mine anything. That is crazy. And I really like this combination. And obviously this counts as punching. So if I want to fight, I will be able to do that. And everything out of this sword. So let me just clear my effects. And um, let me give myself zero zero here. And well, what better way to do that than with milk? And I really don't want to type in the effect. By the way, I do know the the thing. If you wonder, it's a uh, three zero. So it's gonna try and take myself the stuff. I'm getting confused with this stuff because I know so many commands. Yeah, I'm so awesome. And I just realized I talk so bloody much when I wanted to add a video. Well, if I ended up splitting this video in two, hope you enjoyed it. I will Squid Game Gink. And I'll see you next time.